Hi, I'm Margie Remers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the practice exercises from our basic level course, Section 1, Lesson 10, which is all about additional lists. And all of these additional lists you find under the gear icon. And there are a couple of them that you need to know for the test. Um, there are two exercises currently in this lesson in our course. Both of them are optional exercises. There is very little that you actually have to know for the purposes of the test about these. Um, you do have to know a little bit, but you don't have to actually hands-on do it. However, I like to create practice exercises for you so that you can create, uh, so that you can get practice, you know, do actually doing the things. So today we're going to be talking about payment methods. Now, payment methods are the types of payments that your customers accept. So let's take a look at our scenario. Now, today's scenario is Craig would like to be able to deduct customer payments directly from his customers' bank accounts using ACH. He has already signed up and been approved for QuickBooks payments, which is important. I'll talk to you more about that in a, in a little bit. And he has approval from his customers. How would you set this up for him? All right, so let's uh, start by logging into the sample company, which I have here. Now would be a good time to tell you that if you would like a copy of this exercise or you'd like to find out more about our courses, then just use the links below. You'll also find their information on how to log into the sample company if you need that. Um, and uh, so, but I have already logged in, so here we are. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to hit the gear icon right there and we're going to select all lists so just about everything in quickbooks online let me see if i can make this a little bigger so you can see everything there we go um is a list okay so um in this case we're going to be talking about our payment methods so from this list screen we're going to select payment methods right here and you'll notice already set up let me get rid of this so you can see a little better Okay, so already set up, these are the payment methods that currently Craig accepts. And so this is what you see in the drop down list when you, for example, um, are creating a sales receipt. So if we wanted to um, create a new type of uh, payment method, something that's not on this list, for example, ACH, then um, you just would click new here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to call this ACH and, and save it. Okay. And that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and go into a, a sales receipt. And you see here payment method by select, let me get again scroll down a little better so you can see it right here hey, payment method if i select this now ach is in this list another quick tip you can also add a new payment method right here from the add new if you're in my courses you hear me wax poetic about how amazing i think quickbooks online is because this add new button is everywhere so um so anyway so you could add a new payment method right here on the fly if you want now, one thing that's really cool is if you have QuickBooks uh, payments, which is kind of the merchant account that you can sign up for, uh, you as an accountant person could sign it up for your books and your customer could also, your client could also set it up for their books. Um, you sign up for this merchant account and what it allows you to do is process ACH payments and credit card payments directly on the sales receipt. So I just want to show you real quick how that, what that looks like. So this is not the sample company. You can't see, oops, let me pop over. Okay, so this is not the sample company. This is my actual company because I have QuickBooks payments and you can't do this in the sample company. Um, you'll notice here that I have payment method here and I select this and I can select ACH. And when I do that, I have an opportunity if I have authorization to enter the bank info for my 
client. So this would this is what Craig would want to do in that scenario. Um, the same is true for a credit. If I selected a credit card, I can enter the credit card details and I can directly charge the uh, the customer right at that time. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that um, because I think it would be helpful, especially for uh, for. Craig's situation and in your future situation. All right. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time that we post a new video, uh, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this particular lesson or our courses in general, make sure and comment below. And that's it for me. I will see you next time.